My name's Christine Hansford and I'm the Strategic Manager leading on the Apprenticeship Levy for Hampshire County Council. I'm supported by a Development Manager focusing specifically on apprenticeships for schools. These now go through from Level 2 right through to Level 7, a Master's degree. For school leaders, this is an ideal situation because you get to train them and teach them the things that you find most important, teach them your school ethos right on site. We currently have eight apprentices, um, ranging from a site assistant to a creative arts technician, all the way through to myself as an accountancy apprentice. I am business manager at Springwood Federation and I'm currently undertaking the Chartered Manager's Degree Apprenticeship known as the CMDA um, and I've been here for 14 years. I feel that there are a number of benefits, um, probably the main one for me is it's, it's a good CPD opportunity, it's good professional development for existing staff. Um, school funds are limited and restricted at the moment, so being able to utilise the levy to support professional development as opposed to using your main school funds. So I think that one of the biggest things we've seen is, is the level of enthusiasm that apprentices come in with. You know, they come in with that enthusiasm of wanting to be with our students, being with our staff and, and learning those skills that they have. I think a key benefit to the schools is also the networking. It's the opportunity to be able to um, meet people from different backgrounds um, who have different experiences. We struggle to appoint somebody in the role of senior science technician and we managed to develop two existing science technicians and they feel that we invested in them, we're supporting them and they're getting so much out of it, not only from a learning perspective, but that support, feeling like we wanted to invest in them. I think that the challenge is overcoming the 20% of time back um, and the on-site learning, but it's about being creative with how you do that, whether that's using the, the one week in school holidays as their 20% time, or whether it's about trying to accommodate day release on different days. But I don't feel these problems are insurmountable, they just require creative thinking and solutions. The apprentice who comes with very little experience, so it's making sure that we have a level of understanding and empathy for them to, to help them through it, because they have also coursework that they have to do too on top of what they do at school. So it's like helping them with time management and balance. I'm gone are the days of an apprentice being somebody that, that's unskilled or unqualified. Some of our apprentices are very highly skilled and competent, I mean my, I myself, but I'm in a senior role and I'm an apprentice. You're already paying into the levy, you're putting that money in. Take something from it, use it, use it to develop whether it's existing staff or new staff, but engage with it and you'll see the benefits come thick and fast from engagement. My name is Claire Allen. I'm the Development Manager for Apprenticeships at Hampshire County Council. Uh, my role is to support schools in using their levy spend and we can help to work with you to find appropriate apprenticeships. Um, we can source appropriate providers and discuss different delivery methods with you. The opportunity to be given this has been overwhelming. Um, I think it shows support uh, from your managers and I'm very much supported from our executive head teacher. Um, it's opened my eyes to different aspects that I can bring into my role to enhance my provision to children. It's just yeah, amazing is all I can say. Really, really positive experience. Apprenticeships are extremely important in terms of bringing agility, flexibility and enthusiasm uh, to any organisation. People who are starting on new jobs or changing their career direction want to succeed and therefore they're there to learn and do a good job and deliver and they're important. Well my message to school leaders is having seen this film, if you're not convinced yet, go and talk to some of your uh, colleagues who have gone down this road. I reckon you'll get a positive story from them and you will then see how it can benefit your school.